So he... Just a sec. The golden Arsirian hamster is a rodent belonging to the hamster subfamily, Chrysenony. Would you like to hear more? No. Hi, YouTube. First things first, I'm back, and here's what's going on. We are in the year 2020, and let me tell you, it's a whirlwind of a year. Not just for me, as I will provide details of, but for literally like everybody in the world. And I don't know who has not been affected by any of this, but I think everyone has been. I haven't made a video. Okay, well, that's a lie. I have made a video in the last three years. I've deleted the ones I've made and I've sat in front of cameras to film a video and turned it off. So, yeah. I've decided that that's all something that I want to take and share my experiences with you and, you know, health things. So basically, I, I'm going to be posting more in here. And like when I say that I am going to, like I really mean it. This channel has mainly been about my health, which until couple years ago, a few couple years ago, I was really sick with something that was easy to talk about. Well, maybe some people won't think that. Ulcerative colitis or IBD in general or most autoimmune diseases are something that is easy to talk about. But for me, that was easy to talk about. But some of the other stuff that I've been going through has not been easy to talk about. You go through something for so long and you realize you can use those experiences to help other people and I think that's really important. I mean, isn't that what this channel has been all about this whole time? I got a... someone found my personal Instagram and they messaged me and they asked if I was Emily Ellen from YouTube and I said yes. Like, have we spoken before? Like, do I know you? You know, this person was saying that they are a college student currently and they were watching a lot of my videos um, they're going through colitis and um, that kind of thing which I of course <laughs> know a lot about and they said that they watched my videos and like you know even my college and I think it's called like college and IBD my video the fact that the video that I posted more than five probably, yeah, more than five years ago, is helping people today who have IBD and don't have anybody to turn to or to talk to or who understands and can give proper advice. I know there's tons of people out there that post IBD videos and that's awesome, but it's really cool that of last night that someone has been reached to to my video and it's a really good feeling and it was like, okay, like, that's right, like, I need to be making videos about all this stuff, you know, even if it's not IBD related. So what I'm doing is this channel is going to be a bunch of different things. This is going to be my main channel. The channel you're watching this video on, if it's the original post, is on my main channel. I do have, I mean, this channel, my main channel now, and I have a music channel. That music channel, I'll, you know, probably not take down, but music will now be on here now. And I think <laughs> if you prefer music on the other channel, that's fine. But I kind of just want this to be like the channel that I just things exist on. So that is easier. I have like just a lot to talk about. And I think that it could help other people. I mean, we will have random videos, like random probably. And whatever that is, makeup, my pets, which I'll be talking about <laughs> later on in the video about that because there's upcoming videos that'll be about my pets. I have a lot of weird pets so it'll be cool to show you about them and if you're interested in care and keeping of certain of these animals, that's bad grammar, but 
If you're interested in the care and keeping of these certain animals, then yeah, that'll be that. IBD wise, as of, well, officially last year, I'm in remission. I've been on Intivio, the IV infusions, for about three years now. I think uh, more than three years, maybe three years. I don't know, but around three years. And I did make a video about Intivio quite a while ago. It was one, you know, obviously the last thing so far I've tried after trying many, many, many different types of IBD or like ulcerative colitis or autoimmune kind of thing medications. And long story short, I am symptom free and you know, I've had the colonoscopy to prove it. <laughs> so that is awesome. So Intivio was working really well and I'll talk more about that later. So that's why it's been hard to make videos about ulcerative colitis because I mean, I'm, there's nothing to talk about about it. <laughs> but this last, I mean, at least throughout the last like year now, I've gone through a lot of medical things that are not even related to IBD or ulcerative colitis at all. So it's kind of not something that was like, oh, like, do they, they want to hear about it? And I want to like talk about it. But now I'm thinking I, I might be able to help somebody and it's, it's a very cool feeling. So that's going to be more about that. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with that. But just letting you know, I wanted to come on here and let you know, I am like going to be posting more videos, like a lot more. And hopefully I will be able to help some people with the videos I make regarding kind of health stuff. I'll kind of go into that. I mean, even within the last three years of videos that I had deleted, I don't really remember, I mean, what I even talked about in the video. It was more like I just didn't like the way it looked. I had some issues going on. They weren't probably what you think they are. So that's why you have to keep watching my video to find out what they are, you know. So long story short with all of that, I am doing really well. I am still dealing with one big medical issue that is finally being, let's say, being not treated necessarily, but made tolerable. <laughs> and after six months of dealing with this particular issue, it's been made tolerable. Within the six months, I have gone through a surgery and many procedures. That's been crazy. Lots of tests testing and stuff and the surgery that I got was something that potentially could have saved my life. You know, if it didn't happen soon to when the time I did get it done, I would be in a world of pain um, or not be here. I don't know. So that was that, but the surgery I got did involve like many months of suffering prior to kind of begging to have the surgery and realizing that I'm glad I did. <laughs> so I'll make a video all about that. I'm not going to tell you what kind of surgery it was, but it'll be in an upcoming video and I will tell you all about it and all that stuff. So yeah, it's been quite the whirlwind with that and with the other thing going on too, um, hopefully we'll find, you know, I'm finally, I'm having even more testing done now. So that's been like a total nightmare, honestly. I'll go into all of that in upcoming videos. Other stuff to look forward to is pet videos. Um, my, one of my most, most watched videos, if not like the most watched video I've made on this channel is my hermit crab care and keeping video. And I was reading through the comments the other day and some of them made me laugh to like, like was in tears. So I'm like, hmm, I will do like a hermit crab reaction to the comment video and address some of the comments that some people left in that video. Some people clearly didn't watch the video, but I understand that it was a long video and you probably, you know, stuff like, oh, your hermit crab has a painted shell, they shouldn't have a painted shell. Okay, well, like, I explained why in the video, and 
update on that. I still have that hermit crab. He is not in a painted shell and he is doing great. So I can make an update video about him and um, why I don't have any other hermit crabs at the moment in that video. I had multiple and why I don't. And it's kind of an <laughs> interesting uh, story about that. So I can do that. I, you know, other pet videos I can make regarding my hamster. His name is Walter White. I can make a video about him, the betta fish, the snail that lives with the betta fish, bearded dragon. I mean, I don't know if you care about the dog and the cat, but <laughs> okay. So pet videos are going to happen. I love request videos. Even if there's something like you see related that you want to know, let me know. And I can answer that to the best of my ability because I do know like a lot about it, honestly. Other than making YouTube videos, I have also done something else. One, I now have an Instagram that I will be adding people. I don't, well, it's going to be public, so you can follow me. It is called Emily Ellen Co. Okay, so this channel I made to be called Emily Ellen. Uh, just because, you know, my username, when I first opened this channel, it didn't make any sense. Like, it made sense to me, okay? But it didn't make sense to, like, the majority of, like, the population. <laughs> so, so it is changed just to Emily Ellen. That is my, like, go-to name when I was teaching music lessons full-time. That was my business. I just kind of stuck with it and I go with it. With that said, the Instagram that is public so that you guys can follow and you know message me on. I'll try to message you back because and if you're mean then you won't be on there anymore. Sorry. So that's that. The Instagram I will link it like down below in the, the description of the video, but the Instagram is called Emily Ellen Co. Co is in CO, so you'll just find the link. That also is the name of my jewelry. I have opened up an online jewelry shop. I will do a full video about why I did that. And it is a very recent thing still, so please bear with me. But I have made a lot of jewelry. And it is going to be exclusively on Etsy right now. You can go check it out if you want. The link will be in the description below as well. You can check out my Etsy shop. I am updating it so you can check that out. And if you have questions, feel free best thing to, you can message me on like the Etsy site or whatever or you can just message me on Emily Ellen Co which is the Instagram so you can do that as well and I will be like uploading stuff there Instagram will just be like it'll be fun but like business at the same time but Emily Ellen is not you know uh, available Instagram name so I figured I would just combine the two so there's that Anyway, so the jewelry, I'll make a whole video about that and like why I'm doing it. But anyway, check out my Etsy. I will make another video next week. I'll surprise you with what it is. Video requests are requested from you to provide for me. You can leave them in the comments. I don't usually read like YouTube messages. Email me at my shop, info at emilyellen.co not com.co okay it's just that's that's it or you can message me on instagram as well those are like the best ways to get a hold of me if you want to like talk to me i'm not like promising i'm going to give you a full conversation and if you're being like creepy or weird then we won't have a conversation that's that's fine i do apologize if i like don't get back to you right away okay so or if you know i don't get back to you <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and let you know that I am back. And I'm sorry if the lighting's kind of weird. I'm testing out a new camera. You know, it's one of those things where, like, you have a bad day and then you go into Target and you buy something. Like, and not like, 
a lipstick like uh, I can't you venture off to the electronic section and you already have all the the video games that you like that they sell so you buy a camera that you haven't read reviews on that's on sale so I hope that everything you know works with the camera I hope you're all well first of all I hope you're all well and I hope you are all being safe whatever you're doing and that you're all doing good if you're not doing good that makes me sad but I really hope that you feel better and that things either calm down or things work out for you so take care that's all I really wanted to say like uh, why do I have fuzz in my hair I think it's like Walter's fur or something I don't know it gets everywhere you'd be surprised he's a Syrian hamster so Syrian male hamster, so he... Just a sec. The golden or Syrian hamster is a rodent belonging to the hamster subfamily, Chrysanemy. Would you like to hear more? No. I'm gonna have to rewind this. What the heck did I say that made it sound like I was talking to the person on the phone? But now you know what a Syrian hamster is. Oh, the Syrian... Oh my gosh. Okay. If you want to, you can subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, but I don't know why anyone who's not subscribed would come across this video because it's just like a random like trash video. <laughs> but this is me. This is 2020 and I'm back with lots of things to talk about. Like literally a lot of things to talk about. So I hope everything's good with you. I don't know. I'm really bad at ending videos. I need like a a line to end the video with that's just simple, you know? But that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Bye. That I guess bye is good. Is bye good? You know, I don't know. Just, you know, have a good day, okay? Just, yeah, have a good day. Okay. We'll figure out how to turn this on.